So this video went a little bit longer than I intended. So I thought, let me just show you the results up front. Of course, if you want to know why they're in decimals and where I got my data from and what was the model process, why some are in green, others in orange and some even in red, then I encourage you to watch the video. But this was the output of the model that we created for the Euro 2020. Hi everyone, it's MJ and in this video we're going to try build a model to predict the Euro 2020 uh, soccer results. And the very first game is actually tonight and yeah, I, I have had two beers already, it's Friday afternoon and this is probably not going to be the most accurate model out there but I thought the games are coming soon, let's, let's have a go. So please don't base any betting or any serious money on this model. Um, but yeah, I thought it would just be, be a little fun thing to do, make the tournament a little bit more interesting. Um, and we'll maybe talk a little bit about models and some good principles behind them while we go along. So hopefully it will be somewhat educational. Um, so yeah, first things first, you can kind of see I'm just using a single uh, spreadsheet, just throwing everything out there. Um, what I've done is the data for this model is I've used the European qualification games. So some of the games had, they played eight and the other games they played 10. So I couldn't just use goals for and goals against and use that. I had to adjust for the amount of games. So this was the data that I was using, just got that off the internet. Like I say, these were the games that they played. I could have included um, like the friendly games, I could have included more data going back, but with um, data you always want to balance relevance and credible. So look, we, we're basing this on just 8 or 10 matches, isn't a lot, but I know with national teams, the further back you go, the teams are very different. Also when it's a friendlies, they're trying different things out. So I'm hoping that this is the most relevant data. Of course, this credibility is a little bit lacking because we have such few amount of, of data points. But now I want to click hide. So what we can do here is straight away we can see, let's also maybe make it a little bit easier to read. Um, here we can see what are the team's scoring rates, so how often do they score a goal in, or how many goals they're scoring in a match and how many goals that they're conceding. And we're doing a very simple model. We're simply going to take the amount of goals that they score versus the opponent's conceding rate average those two together and then do the reverse with the opponent team to get a score for each of them and then whichever scores higher that is then the winning the winning team um, of course it's not perfect because we know scoring a goal against Belgium should count a lot more than scoring a goal against a team like say uh, Latvia so there are some of those nuances and you could subjectively add a little bit more weighting. There is a way to mathematically assign weighting. And I don't know if you guys ever, no, I don't think I ever told you guys. I, I, I had a YouTube channel called Odd Actories where we tried to predict, I think it was the 2016. Is it 2016? Yeah, no, the 2014. When, whenever these World Cups are, the one that was in Brazil. Like I said, it's it's Friday and I, I have been relaxing the, the whole of today. So might not be fully focused, but, um, and that's good. Like I said, don't use this model to, to gamble with. Um, but yeah, we had a thing called Odd Actories where we try to predict the soccer results for the World Cup. And we use quite a fancy model that tried to assign different weighting to different goals. It's very effective in a league format. So like the English Premier League, um, the results were very promising. However, when you take it to a national tournament, things do start to go a little bit crazy. Like I say, I think it's just because of the, the poor data. So just bear in mind the data isn't the best, but I'm gonna show you how we can how we can do it. So the very first match, it's Turkey versus Italy. So what essentially we're gonna do is we're gonna take Turkey's scoring rate and how we basically do it as simple as this. So these are the goals that Turkey are gonna score and we add this to the amount of goals that uh, Italy normally concedes and then we simply divide this by two and I can see this thing wants to like autofill but I don't think it's matching or I mean you could do a very sophisticated V lookup type of index thing but we're just going to do it by brute force. Um, so the idea is that Turkey is expected to score 1.1 goal 
uh, versus Italy. And let me also just put this in the middle. Um, Italy, like I said, we do, Italy normally scores 3.7 goals, which is high. I mean, that's quite high. Turkey, however, concedes less goals than Italy. But I think with that high goal rate means Italy, according to this model, is going to win the match. So yeah, we can see that it's going to be two goals for Italy, 1.1 for, for Turkey. Of course, we're going to be rounding those numbers because you don't score 1.1. Um, and essentially, yeah, so with Italy, we would say that Italy wins that game, loses that game. And I mean, you could even start doing this whole kind of thing. That's, this is actually going to take a lot if we do it for, for all the tables. So let's rather just, let's rather focus on the matches. I think let's not, let's hide this. Otherwise, this is this video is going to take forever. So let's just hide that column. Okay, hide columns. You guys can work it out who, who was better. Um, Wales versus Switzerland. So essentially we take Wales. This is their score rate. We plus Switzerland's concede rate. And we come over here and we divide it by two. Um, there's going to be one goal that Wales is going to be, be scoring. Um, and Switzerland, we see that this is the Swiss. We've got this is their score rate plus the Welsh defending. And we now divide that by two. And we have 1.5. So you can see in this type of situation, I just want to see how I use the right here. In this type of situation, you know, you could round these up. And I mean, rounding up is as simple as it's doing this. Whoops, wrong one. You know, so you can just have it to one decimal place. And these are the expected scores. Now, with a lot of these type of models, the fact that these are going to be the actual scores is very, very low. I mean, models are, are basically always wrong they always like miss the mark they never like pinpoint accurate or if they are it's like a bit of a coincidence but on average they're kind of right so they're a little bit wrong to the left they're a little bit wrong to the right but if you look at them in average um they're going to be the closest thing so with soccer of course there's a lot of football uh for people i know the english people get quite upset when we refer to it as soccer in south africa we refer to it as soccer because our league is the premium soccer league the psl so whenever people in south africa be like oh it's football i'm like in in south africa it's, it's regarded as soccer but i know yeah uh, the it's it's not yeah there's not upset too many people about that what i am going to do is just because otherwise this video is going to be absolutely forever I'm going to pause the recording, complete all of these results, and then resume back and actually just show you the results instead of you guys seeing me typing out on Excel. Um, I don't think that's going to be the most entertaining thing to watch. So yeah, let me pause the recording and then show you all the results. Okay, cool. So we used basically our data to get our results. Now, I have, like I say, I've rounded them off. If you come in like this, you can kind of maybe get a little bit of more information. So sometimes if it's going to be a draw, um, you can use this to have a little bit of a, a victory. Um, but let's maybe keep it on just one decimal and kind of compare. What I've also got on this side is what the bookies say. And what we can see is that the lowest uh, payout is if Italy wins. And that's also what our model is saying as well. So I'm actually going to make this green um, to basically indicate that we got the same as, as the betting guy. So we're thinking Italy 2, Turkey 1. I think yeah, most people would favor the Italians over the Turks. Um, Wales and Switzerland. We are favoring Switzerland with our, our little model. And what we see here is oh gosh 31 divided by 10 is like three that's like two and that is the lowest one so sometimes these odds are a little bit tricky to read but yeah that is favoring switzerland as well so once again we've actually got off to a good start that what we're favoring is the you know the low most likely outcome also according to to the bookies so let's now look at Denmark versus Finland. So our model is favoring the Danes over the Finns. And geez, 9-1, that is huge, which means, yeah, they're also favoring Denmark. Which, look at that. I mean, our model, 
is picking the winner like I mean to go into the actual scores I mean that's a little bit of superior accuracy but let's see we've got Belgium and Russia as a draw I've got a feeling that the bookies are going to favor the yeah they're definitely going to favor Belgium over Russia and yes you can see that it's 10 to 13 I don't know why they've made it red if that's an indication or something and look I think if we were to reveal and this is where yeah, we've got it at 2.4 verse 1.8. I don't know, maybe we should keep it out like this. This does give us a little bit more information. Um, and then, I mean, we could always do the rounding ourselves. But no, I think I think soccer, no. We're going to stick stick to the, the one decimal. We, have, we are going to go with the draw. That isn't what the, the betting guys are saying. So we're going to... Red's such a harsh color, so let's... Let's have this little red here. We'll make it, yeah, that red over there. Okay, so we've got one wrong. Um, but like I said, depending on how you look at the decimals, the decimals are, of course, in favor of Belgium. I think Belgium are ranked number one in the world. Um, England, Croatia, we can see the odds are favoring England. We're also favoring England, three to one for Croatia. So our model is, is also good over there. Austria versus Macedonia. Um, we're favoring Austria and looking at these odds, it's weird you have to do these calculations in your head, but yeah, they're also favoring um, Austria. So how the betting thing works is the lower those odds are, the more likely they are to, to win. That's kind of like your, your payout. Um, so you're gonna get less if it's more likely to, to occur. Which means like there could be a potential, no, I'm, I'm not saying this, but it might, that our Belgium versus Russia, you know, they've got a little tip there, maybe going on the, the draw, or I mean, those odds are actually quite good for the Russians. But no, we're not giving gambling advice. We're not. This is an educational video for educational means. So, um, Netherlands versus Ukraine. This one, Again, they are favoring the Dutch. We have a 2-2, and I'm like I said, if we have a quick, a quick little, little cheeky look, we'll see. Yeah, the Netherlands 1.8 to the Ukrainians 1.5. That means they just made it a little bit else, and they, they would have been down to one. Um, but we're going to stick with our model. Our model is different to to the results, so we are going to color this in. That ugly red color over there so Scotland versus the Czech Republic Ooh, thir 39 divided by 19 is oh my gosh I'm I just want to get a calculator I think I think it is favoring Czech Republic but let me just get a calculator 39 divided by 19 is 2.05 20 divided by 11 is 1.81. Okay, cool. Yeah, so, so Czech Republic is the favored. We're also favoring them. Um, so we're going to give a little, we're going to make our thing green. Is this quite close? The fact that those odds, those odds were very, very uh, tight. 1.5 to 1.8. I mean, it's, it's just the inverse of what the Netherlands, and you can see how much more they favored the Netherlands. We're here, I mean, it's 1.8, 1.8, 1.5, 1.5, .5, and yet that betting there is so much yeah, closer um, on it. So I don't think they're, yeah, I think these models, they definitely allow for subjectiveness. I mean, I'm sure I'm going to get tons of comments really like, oh, this top player is injured, and therefore your data is irrelevant, and, and all these kind of things, where these odds... What's interesting, these odds are, are changing. They're getting, getting like a live update. Um, so yeah, let's let's continue going through it. We have Poland and Slovakia. Let's get back to our our little thing here. So we're favoring Poland against Slovakia, and yes, that is also the favor. Sixteen button. There we go. So we're we're good on that. Slovakia kind of like snuck into this tournament. I don't think they were top of their table, even second in their table. Um, Spain versus Sweden. Ooh, am I gonna have to get the no? They're definitely favoring the Spanish. We're favoring the Spanish as well. So we got there. Hungary versus Portugal. 
and yeah you can see there they are also definitely favoring the Portuguese to one um, I think yeah if you had to show the things I'm gonna stop doing this because I'm gonna make this video unnecessarily long uh, but John I mean 2.1 to 0 0.9 so that's quite a big gap that we're, we're seeing here. It's not like we're rounding up to two, we're actually rounding down to two. France versus Germany. This is this is gonna be a fun match. And I, I have to get the calculator out. I can't do 37 divided by 19. Like I said, I have been, I've been enjoying a Heineken. Um, I was out at the waterfront. So wait, what's 1.94? And we wanna have nine divided by four. It's 2.2. .2. And then 9 divided by 5, 1.8, 2.2, 1.9. Okay, so then that means they are favoring, but just, they're just favoring the French. And I think this is where our model's very different because we are favoring a little bit to the Germans. Yeah, you can see 2.2 versus 1.7. The French are the world champions. So... To bet against them, and I mean, they've got Mbappe and oh, all these amazing strikers. But yeah, this is one thing where our models, not only is it wrong when you round it up, but it's also wrong when you go into other things, which means potentially a betting, but we're not talking about betting, so we're not gonna say that. Um, Finland and Russia. We're favoring the Russians and you're three divided by four that's the small number so straight away we can tell that we are correct on that one as well um it's going to be interesting when we go through the actual results to see how accurate uh, we were then um but yeah like i said we're just comparing ourselves to the bookie so this is a purely mathematical model versus the bookies who use i think professional it's more subjective well i don't know how they how they come up with their results um, different betting sites will have different things and then there's arbitrators and as well and it's a lot more a lot more complicated um, Wales versus Turkey we're going for a draw and oh, I think that is favoring Turkey 31 divided by 21 yeah that's like yeah come on yeah my maths my maths is fine it's it's favoring Turkey which means, like I said, we even have to show this. Yeah, we're also favoring Turkey, 1.3 to 0 0.8. But when you take for rounding, our model's also kinda, kinda wrong. I think what we should do, let's make these ones orange. And we'll keep the red one for um, when we, it's like completely wrong. So we'll make these ones orange. Then it also doesn't make our model look that bad. You know, we've got all this red everywhere. Um, Italy, yeah, Italy's the favorite. We've got Italy also as the favorite. Fantastic. Another little green one. Ukraine, I think, yeah, yeah, Ukraine is favored over Macedonia. There we go. Denmark, Belgium, like I say, once again, once again, they're probably going to be favoring Belgium. Yeah, 2.4 to 1.6. This is probably going to be an orange one. Um, although, wait, this is... 27 to 10, 5 to 2, but you're 21. Okay, so they, <laughs> bookies aren't necessarily putting that much weight behind Belgium, but you're, we kind of get it a little bit wrong when we do our rounding. Um, I mean, that's the nice thing about these bookies here. They don't have to allow for rounding. They can be a lot more, more accurate. So that's why you could even argue that our model is correct on these orange ones as well, and it's only the France versus Germany one that we've been completely completely off um, Netherlands Austria it is favoring the Netherlands and Joe we're also favoring the Netherlands so we get another green one Sweden versus Slovakia and it's favoring Sweden yeah we're also favoring Sweden over there as well so Croatia versus Czech we're favoring Croatia remember they got into the finals um, last time just see, 24 divided by 19, that number is going to be lower than 23 divided by 10. Yeah, so it's also favoring Croatia. Um, England versus Scotland. Yeah, favoring England. I mean, we've got a 3-1. This England scored a lot of goals. I mean, they got the highest score rate um, on their thing. Hungary versus France. I mean, do we even have to check? 
do we even have to check? Um, but you are check it's times eight if hungry ones. Uh, so definitely there we go with the with the French. Um, Portugal versus Germany. Ooh, well let's just see who we okay, so we are favoring a little bit of the Germans, but we do have more of a a draw. Okay. This is where I think it's also favoring, but hold on. I, 28 divided by 11, that is 2.5. 7 divided, oh yeah, it's going to favor the Germans, 1.4. Okay, so they're favoring the Germans. Like I say, this is more uh, of a little bit of an orange orange one. Where if, like I say, if you had to look at our model to the second decimal, it would be right. The first decimal, it's, it is wrong because it is saying a, a draw. Hence why we're making it orange. Spain versus Poland and we got Spain as the favorite Spain as well there we go Italy versus Wales Italy versus Wales um, Italy is favored we're favoring Italy fantastic Switzerland versus Turkey oh I think they're gonna favor who they can favor? probably the Turks oh no 1.3 and 1.3 okay so this is definitely a draw we need the draw to be the lowest one Oh, and look how close it is. 12 divided by 5 versus 11 divided by 5. Which means... I can't believe I'm doing this. 12 divided by 5 is 2.4. I'm just double checking. 11 divided by 5 is 2.2. So there's... Wait, but there's 16 divided by 11 is 1.4. Okay, no, no, wait, wait, wait. So they are favoring... They're favoring Switzerland. And I'll, so this is okay. This is the second one that we've got wrong. Okay, so they're favoring Switzerland. We're favoring a draw, and on the second decimal, we're also favoring a draw. So that's another wrong one that we've made. We've been doing so well. Um, okay, yeah, the Netherlands that we favored. Wait, did I miss Ukraine and Austria? Sorry, Ukraine and Austria. Oh, sorry, I have to get the calculator out again. I should not, this is why you should not drink beer on a Friday, because then you can't do long division on your channel, and actuaries are like, oh, you, you're an actuary, you must be good at maths. 43 divided by 19, compare that to the 1.7, 9 divided by 5, 1.8, yeah, okay, well, I can see why, because 25 divided by 14 is 1.78, 9 divided by 5 is 1.8 which means it is quite difficult to say that that is the favor. So Ukraine is favored just, 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 just. Let's see how, how close was it. I'm probably, that's probably gonna be like one point something and that's gonna be like 1.4 or something. Oh yeah, 1.5 to 1.2, so very, very close. Um, we did get it right, but yeah, we're also showing how, how close it is of a match as, as well. Um, then we saw there, yeah, that the Netherlands was favored. So we've got another green one there. Um, then we have Finland and Belgium. Belgium favored for you can tell instantly if the numerator is smaller than the denominator, then it's instantly that's kind of like the the favorite, um, especially if the other two don't have that as well. So here, this is favoring Belgium. Oh, sorry, I missed the Russian Denmark one. Come up. Oh yeah, because why do they have it in the different order? They're playing both at the same time. Oh, that's why. Russia, Denmark. Russia, Denmark. They are favoring the Danes. We're favor. We got a draw, but I think we might even be favoring Russia because Russia had very good score things. So I think ours is very wrong. Yeah, it's a very wrong one. Because so we have to have to give that as a red one there. Oh, we've got three bad matches. Three bad matches um, that the model, yeah, you know, this de deviation. Croatia and Scotland, 68 to 67, 12 to 5, 90 to 5. Okay, so they're favoring Croatia. We're also favoring Croatia. So there we go. Okay, check to England, check to England, and jeesh, 7 1. That is, I mean. <laughs> I don't know, like, I, I want England to win. I mean, that's the team I'm going to be backing in this tournament, followed by France and, and Germany. I really like those teams. Then maybe even the, the Netherlands as well. But, oh, I don't know. That's quite, quite, yeah, very strict odds. Anyway, same as our model. Um, 
Sweden versus Poland. Ooh, I think 28 divided by 17 is the smallest number there. Yeah, that's 1.6. 9 divided by 4 is 2. Point, yeah, okay. Like I say, you, when, you, when you're making videos and you're doing live, your maths ability does go a little bit out the window. So I do want to just rather check, rather check than <laughs> make a mistake. Um, they're, so yeah, they're favoring Sweden over Poland. Let's see if, if it's orange or red. Yeah, it's going to be red because we're expecting the draw to be the most likely one. Okay, so um, Slovakia, Spain. Slovakia, Spain. Yeah, Spain is is the favorite as as well. Um, France versus Portugal. We're going in at a draw, and this one uh, again. Sorry, I do have to use the calculator. Thirty one divided by twenty one. That's one point four versus. No, no, wait. I don't have to do that. I think yeah, they're definitely favoring France. Definitely favoring France. Yeah, okay. Um, we're not, but if we had to look at our thing, so I think this could be orange. No, no, we have Portugal at 1.7. So this is going to be another red one. No, we, we, there was like such few red ones and now we're all at the bottom. Okay, Germany versus Hungary. I don't even have to check. I'm sure that's, yeah, six there. There we go. Okay, cool. So those are our score predictions. Um, what I'll do is, yeah, I think what we can see is, let's count how many they were. So one, two, three. Let me use this lovely little, oh my gosh, did you? Oh, because I don't think it's going all the way down. So we have to just drag it. So out of the 36 games, one, two, three, four, five, Five are wrong. So five out of 36 are wrong, which means 31 divided by 36. We have an 86% accuracy at the second decimal. Like I say, we had to add in one, two, yeah, it, it'll make it make it low. I don't want to calculate that number because it's going to be a low number. Um, but essentially, yeah, these are some of the results. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below who you think is going to win. Um, and what you thought of the model process. Did you like how we simply just took the amount of goals that you've scored in the previous qualifying rounds um, and the amount that you've conceded? We've added those two together, divided by two in order to get the expected goal, compared it with the opposing team, and you know, kind of come up to a score by rounding uh, to one, yeah, to zero decimals. And we've used that to try and get our, our result. So yeah, I hope, hope you've enjoyed the video. And then if it's not completely wrong, uh, we'll maybe do it for the, um, what you might call it, the qualifying round. Although then we can then use the data from the group stages to update the model and we can start getting a little bit more, more accurate as, as well. But as always, thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoy uh, the soccer later this evening. Cheers.